reconnection stuff. There we go. Okay. I think we're back. We're not losing. There we go. Sorry about that. Our, uh, <laughs> our internet went down too. Apparently it's just bad internet night for everybody. Came back though. Oh, I don't really watch South Park Tremor, so I didn't get your reference. What a terrible holiday. I vote no one ever celebrates it again. does A mean? Just by the way. Absolute. Do you just do you just win? Is that what that card means? It's a ten. A is an ace equals ten. To get the fucker to play the card and then win the card. That's the hard part. <laughs> this is brutal. Almost wonder at this point if it's better just to fucking <laughs> come back when we have better cards. I give it this honest effort and I'll move on. Let's go. This probably isn't the best introduction to Final Fantasy VIII for me. Oh, cards? Yeah. Can't do the junction until after you have Diabolos anyways. It's just really neat to have. Mutual love for the nostalgia critic here. Oh, yeah. Oh, Doug. Doug Walker. Fuck it. Fucking bubbles. Red Bat's the only thing that has a 6 on it. It just sucks everywhere else. <laughs> Fungar in the corner. safely put him in the middle of those two because I don't think uh, they can take over you just won't it basically give you a free drop let's put it here mm -hmm. no nah, I didn't actually mean that card I meant the uh, the that one Because you don't lose it when you place it. It has to be beaten 
Yeah. But we drew. Mm hmm. Motherfucker had the car, we took it over in a safe spot. Yeah, it wasn't a loss. So yeah, if you're ever in that situation and you just need a safe play, you can sandwich yourself in between. Behemoth. Should have played Ifrit there. Moving on. Muya is a. Uh, it's an ice cream place, isn't it? I feel like I've seen one of those around here. Yeah, Knoxville. It's a burger joint. Oh, that's right. It's a burger joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, it's in uh, West Knox by yeah. the mall. They do burgers and shakes. I'm going to have to try that. I'll make that a point the next time I go to West Knox. Nothing wrong with that. Halfway between fast food and sit down restaurant. Fried chicken sandwiches are fucking phenomenal. The only thing I'd be eating. I love me some chicken. We've officially gotten jack and shit accomplished. We got the tutorial done. Did we, though? Got changed into your uniform. We learned how to junction. Did we? Did you? I did. I feel like you just hit buttons. Zell Dinchked. I'm afraid that's not possible. The fuck are you doing, bruh? What is wrong with your face? The premise of the bouncer comes from him. I feel like you just hit buttons. Isn't that every video game, though? <laughs> the, the toothpaste commercial smile. <laughs> Ding! Colgate, isn't it? <laughs> the snack that smiles back. Goldfish. That's a product I liked as a kid. I ate now. <laughs> I didn't even really like them that well then. <laughs> I 
The difference is people are afraid to tell Tyson his face that it looks dumb. Yeah. Because <laughs> Zell has the Tyson face tattoo. Motherfucker will lay you out. My favorite Tyson quote. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. <laughs> that is just the best. Get fucked, Seifer Sephiroth. Uh, Tremor, you had you said you were split between Doom Train and Carbuncle. The truest quote about fighting there is. That being said, I would rather be punched in the face and slapped. Chicken wheels. Sid, you let yourself go. Straight to the donut shop. I went express. Okay, th this one's chalking up there with like top five worst SIDs. No, I hate this SID. My god. SID equals Mrs. Doubtfire. I swear SID is based off Robin Williams. Holy shit. He looks exactly like him. This is the least Sid Sid there is. I bet he doesn't even get an airship. Mm. Yeah, that's that's more like it. This is Dead Poet Society Sid. I just, I don't like him. I don't like the fact that he is the feeder of CDs. We use words to woo women. Whoa. Pretty sure that's a fake car. Is it any more fake than the car you drove in 7? At least that one looks like a toy car. Dead Poet Society is a fantastic Robin Williams flick, and I strongly suggest you watch it. I've got a car just like that. Hell yeah. Show me your gun blade. Come on, man. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Scrooge. I love Mega Man X Rocky. <laughs> Zell is desperate for a look at that gun blade. That's how you know he's mad. Hand on the forearm, shaking the fist. Trying to get a little shake out of the gun blade. Who the fuck was in the infirmary that said they knew me? Zell says, Seifer, if you make me any matter, this middle finger's going up. How did you forget he was the genie? I've seen somebody mention Jumanji. 
I was off board for Jumanji 2, like completely off board. But oh, I seen with the Rock. I seen who's in it, and I'm going to fucking watch it. But there's no board game. It's a video game this time. It's a video game. Oh, well, I mean that's weird, but. so weird that they let you drive the truck, like, 20 feet. Yeah. Breach doesn't sleep. He just takes, like, extended naps. He's the only person I've ever met that sleeps less than I do. And that's not healthy. <laughs> Your sleep schedule is unhealthy. I don't know what to call Breach's sleep schedule. You guys are last, get the fuck in! I have never played 8. Um, Here you go. I got to Ifrit. Okay, you made it past different. I may have officially made it past different now. <laughs> um, you've played it what once? I played it two or three times all the way through. Mm, but it's been like how many years? A long time. Like five, six years, if not longer. Much appreciated, Jamie. I am reading that right, Emma. Yeah, Jamie's on. I want to know who's driving that damn boat. <laughs> Fucking swerving. You froze the screen. You blowed wind at it too hard. Here's the B squad. What kind of introduction is that? Uh, I'm not married. Duh. Oh. Hey. Barrett's the one doing the driving. He showed up somehow. Hey, Spikey! I could see that. We're gonna drift a submarine. I realize that's not how it works. We're gonna drift a submarine! Why can't that be a thing already? I just realized something. If Remake doesn't have air high wind drifting, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> air drifting in the high wind. Well, I'm gonna sail your spiky headed ass. Damn it to hell. What the hell's it for? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I want to. I want to say I've been in an airplane once. I want to be in that. I want to go skydiving once. But submarine. That is definitely not on my bucket list. I've got some experience leading around spiky headed asses. Like, that's. <laughs> yeah, I'm just sitting here thinking, like, I'm totally on board to go skydiving. Like, that that's a thing that's gonna happen. But, like. Getting in a submarine just seems fucking terrifying to me. Like, I'll jump out of a fucking plane, but I won't go in a submarine. <laughs> no, Ricky's never been in an airplane. Until a couple of years ago, motherfucker had never been out of the state. And then we traveled every damn where. You moved in and I took you places. With the remake, the uh, combat system is going to be 15's combat system, and that's just all there is to it. To think it's going to be anything but is foolish. I 
I've been in a plane. I've been in a few of them, actually. I've been on boats. A train. Woo! North Dakota. I can't imagine there's a whole lot to do in North Dakota. This fucking real who needs to stop calling for help. <laughs> Breach is trying to catch a real Lou. One of my favorite Pokemons. Well, they've already confirmed it's gonna be episodic. But they also said that each episode is going to be like the length of a full length game, so. So every seven years we will get <laughs> one piece of the puzzle. Had to kill two Chanseys so far trying to catch this Sonic the Hedgehog cosplaying ass. Yeah, not encouraging, but I don't have any factual evidence for this, but I feel like they said uh, that it would... They compared it to uh, to Final Fantasy XIII's parts. So if each episode is like the length of thirteen, that's fucking like... 20 hours per episode. Yeah, and I think that's another thing they confirmed is that, uh, like, ep the first episode is going to be completely Midgar. Yeah, they did confirm that. Like, it's not even going to be anything else. It will just be the entirety of Midgar. But they're also expanding Midgar? By quite a bit. Mm-hmm see more of the different sectors probably I imagine wall markets gonna be huge yeah everything that's been condensed tiny in the original will be like a bajillion times exploded mm-hmm I would just like some kind of information though they are, like, really hush-hush about it. I think that's the thing that scares me the most, is they're just not fucking talking about it. Did you hear it vibrate? Mm-mm. <laughs> I'll listen closer this time. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, that's how you can tell if you get it. Mm hmm. Get a little force feedback. I love it. You got it. They're either not talking about it because they know it's going to be huge when they do, or because it's a mess. Anything we say would just be speculating. That's true. And what's messed up is you're probably right on both parts. <laughs> Keep up the mystery for free hype without having to work. If anyone has capitalized on manufactured hype, it's gotta be Square. Struck first. I'm going to try not to sit around and just draw for infinity. Well, not on camera anyways. Yeah. So 
Who's gonna be the party this go around? I'm gonna use somebody completely different. I won't say anybody that way. Nobody knows. Oh, then maybe that wasn't a party member. Hmm. But yes, I already have a party picked out. This is a company which, for some fucking reason, did not start work on FF7 Remake until like a year ago. <laughs> Cannot understand why they do anything. Which is really odd if you think about it because... How long has the PS4 been out? Three? Four years? Something like that, yeah. And... The PS4's entire lifespan... <laughs> <laughs> Breach called Squall Selfie Irving. Yeah. <laughs> did, did he get it? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna use a... I normally don't use that team. But that's the best team in the game. That's funny. I can't believe Breach predicted it. I normally roll Squall, Renona, as L. Just punchy. Well, I like to run usually the complete worst of teams. That way, if I can beat it with that team, I can beat it with any team. Except when you play 10. Well, even then, before, like, I never ran that team. But now that I know. I'll always run that team. There's a dog sniffing. Shiva. Put in characters I hate the most and try to learn to like them. I mean, I guess that would, like, force you to really experiment and learn the inner workings of the game. God, I mean, I guess, truthfully, there's no real worst character in 10. I'm, like, really trying to think of, like, what the shit party would be. It would depend on how you want to look at it. Are you going to base it off limit breaks? You about have to, because it, essentially if you master the sphere grid for everybody... They're all going to hit. They're all hit. They all hit the same. They all have the same abilities, because it's the sphere grid. That means Kamari... So, like, worst limit breaks, I guess, go to Kamari, Yuna, and... Auron. And then... Yeah, Auron. I guess it depends on really just like how good you are at rotating the analog stick. Because if you're not very good at that, then you uh, Lulu's limit break is ass for uh, multicast. Riku's the best, actually. Riku is hands down the best character. If you want to fight Dark Aeons and Penance and shit, you're using Riku, and that's just all there is to it. Mix, son, mix. Yep, that's Endgame Party. Riku Wakatitis. I love Riku's model in 10. I hate it in 10 too. I like it in both. But yeah, mixing for Hyper Mighty G's. Done. Can single turn give the entire party haste plus all resistances. Yeah, RN Celestial does come with first strike, but still. I hated how they force you to have Yuna, Titus, and RN for the last fight, so you have to manually switch them out for the characters you actually want. I actually forgot about that. 
in the fight against uh, Yu Yevin. Oh, he does, doesn't he? Yeah, when you're fighting the... Uh... You know what? I didn't realize that until they brought it up. This game has a similar graphical style to RE2. Oh, yeah. I can see, I can see that. Yeah, I mean, like, from behind, he even looks like Leon. Especially in that jacket right now. Yeah, that you could totally do like a little graphical mod to make that Leon. Last playthrough I did a 10, I only leveled up the ladies, so that made it a pain. So it definitely made it hard when you had to fight shit underwater. I can't wait till we play through the Resi games. I've been I've been holding off my itch to play them. October needs to get here. Oh, is that is that gonna be uh, October? It's gonna be Resident Evil month. Your chat test succeeded, Trimmer. Hardest fight in the game was Tennis and Walk against Riku's mech underwater. Oh yeah, and the moon flow. Yeah, if you hadn't leveled up Titus and Waka, that would have been brutal, because that fight's hard even when they are leveled up. Yeah, that fucking that fight's not even fun. He's dead. See, like, I always tell myself when I play through 10 that I'm going to use Kimari, and then I never actually do, just because Kimari doesn't have an archetype. You make Kimari into somebody else. Yeah. He doesn't have his own grid. I know you're injured, but do you want to play a card game? It's like... Yeah, he's a he's a weaker version of another thing you already have. Has an even less clear path if you use the international sphere grid. Where pretty much everyone starts in the middle. I like the international sphere grid. Yeah, that's the that's the biggest thing is like he gets some cool blue magic, but you can only use it with his limit break. And there's only like a handful of those blue magics that are actually even worth it. And it's usually the last ones. Yeah, like Supernova. You can get Supernova from uh, Omega Weapon. Yeah, Omega. But even then, it's still really outclassed by, I want to see anybody else. Lulu double cast Ultima. You just outdid. Unfortunately, if you have a limit break that hits more than once, you are automatically better than Blue Magic. I actually, uh... That's not a bad idea to give him steal and use. Ah, uh, but those curves intertwine on themselves, and if you know the sphere grid enough, you can do some real sneaky things. Like in the vanilla sphere grid, Riku starts off like five or six moves away from Holy. All you have to do is have uh, a level three key sphere, which is really easy to get. Uh, you're guaranteed one from the uh, the robot fight out um, at the base of Mount Gagazet. So you burn that. 
use uh, teach holy to Riku, and then use a white magic uh, uh, use a white magic sphere to immediately pass it to Yuna, and then you've got a Yuna with holy right before Unaleska, which is a guaranteed 10k damage on Unaleska because she's weak to holy. Really makes that fight a lot easier. I'll be the one playing through 10, so hopefully I'll get to show you guys some neat strategies and stuff that I've learned over the years. The Unaleska fight is my favorite fight. <laughs> Holy shit, no pun intended. Only thing to do that strat, I'll have to be using the original Sphere Grid and not the, uh... Not the International. Although I think I can still do it with the International, I just have to take a few more extra moves. Yeah, Seifer's Green Sword thing is really cool. The only thing I hate about Seifer is they... they they just forcefully make him a douche. Does he have progression? Does it get better as the game goes on? If I remember right, he's just a douche. Oh, he's just straight up like a douche. Seifer's cool for most of the game. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to pass on that subject. Friggin' hell. Fucking Lavos fights going on downstairs. You can always tell by the giant screech. It's selfie. And she's dead. It's not dead. A very, <laughs> very bad concussion. <laughs> Let me take a selfie. But first. He's that asshole down there. One of these days I'm going to tell you about my romantic dream. You really had to drive that home. Can we take the shortcut? That'd be nice. You're not gonna... It's a cliff, man. I got this. Geronimo! Seifer. Okay, I'm out of the fucking party. Enjoy the best party member. Bye. Drops the mic. <laughs> Doses. Drops his gun blade. You know, you don't get a real good indication of just how far of a drop that is. It's, it's a it's a very little drop. <laughs> it's like one of those Dukes of Hazard like camera bullshit things. Get flashbacks of Sector Seven.
She uses nunchucks? Mm -hmm. oh, that's neat. That's a really long chain on those nunchucks. I just yeah. want to throw that out there. <laughs> Them gunblade boys was running from Boss Hog. <laughs> <laughs> Tremor lives in Louisiana and hasn't seen Dukes of Hazard. It's also like way before his time too, so. Oh yeah, those Galvadian soldiers do look exactly like fucking Shinra soldiers pouring out of this. This is a fucking reactor. Yeah. That's all this is. This is a fucking reactor. Like even to the stance. Cool is not what I would say is. There's nothing bigger than Wedge. Like this is just a. Uh, oh my god, it is a fucking reactor. Yeah. This is a homage to Bigs and Wedge. This goes here, this goes here. Don't forget, use draw on whatever this upcoming boss is. Yeah, I remember. What do you draw? GF. Damn, I was hoping you were gonna say monster card. <laughs> monster <laughs> card, though. God, even like down to like the the little nodes. I told you this is a homage to Sector Seven. It's a homage. You used to have nightmares about this boss. Oh God, what the fuck is this boss? I think this design's pretty fucked up. Is it Hojo? No. There's your Mako cannon. Are they shooting it to the northern crater? Just trying to get internet service. <laughs> this is actually Tremor trying to hook up a Wi-Fi connection. Yeah, this is... Motherfucking AVGN. The first game is awesome. The second game is less than awesome. It's definitely something. He just called us a twerp. Are you going to stand for that? I'm not in this party. He called you a twerp. Shit. Well, I ain't going to stand for it. Get bent. I'm not really sure why he's walking like that, but okay. Did he just, like, cut off his hand? Or was it just a gun? It was, it was his gun hand. <laughs> At least he didn't call Zell a chicken wuss. some fabric, girl. <laughs> Don't forget to draw. I've already drew a sooner. The enemy's not on screen yet. Gotcha. You can't miss him. Shooting the moon. She's dead. Yeah, that was a lot of gunfire. <laughs> oh, 
kind of school is Sid running there if that's the uniform? And he's dead. I love how he does the Alex shoulder wind up. Yeah. <laughs> Getting some third strike flashbacks. Catholic Light School. Punch, punch. Bonk. It makes me think of fucking Armstrong. Armstrong. I love that game. Should've stayed home. Can only bit like eight degrees before stuff starts going up in age rating. Bye, Biggs and Wedge. What the hell? It's a demon. That is actual demon. Like, actual fucking demon. <laughs> I like that little juxtaposition there. Zell's like, what the fuck is that? And Selfie just immediately just BAH! Three doubles. Yes, doubles. With a Jay Leno chin. Holy shit, he does! Did you draw Siren? Because that was on the list. No, I was focusing on doubles for a moment. Acquired Siren. Thanks for the heads up, chat. You guys rule. What do the doubles do? Uh, allows you to cast twice. What? And it's also what triple does, too. What? <laughs> He's right. That's how life works. You just punch your problems away. They love to do missable stuff in this one. They do, actually. didn't get healed on that. Because I healed Zell and you. Oh, oh, you did a double cast of a single heal. Okay, yeah. okay. Alright, I'm back up to speed. I got this. How does that feel, asshole? I'm not your mama, asshole. Why is Scyther not anywhere near as cool as he looks? Yeah. Evil Light Scyther, though, is still pretty devastating. I can't wait till Breach fights on a bug team. Stick an Evil Light on that motherfucker. He he does more than than you're giving him credit for right now. Say this about 12 and 15. It's weird how normal the cast hair is for the most part. <laughs> Is 
some bitch to go sit in a box till I get a metal coat. <laughs> Fair enough. I just wish I liked shiny Caesar. I don't like booger green. This thing's got a lot of health. Although, to be fair, against the first few turns, we're literally just drawing. Fucking Seymour. Yeah, I think this thing does have too much health, to be real. Like, it's not like this is a hard fight. He's not hitting for, you know, crazy amounts of damage. Yeah, it's just taking too long to kill. Plus you four went the fish fin method of early power, overpowering? What the fuck is the fish fin method? What do these things mean? I does not comprehend. You get fish fins as a drop from fish. Oh, and so I'm going to assume fish fins cost a higher level magic. Refine them to water magic and junction it to strength on Squall. For an ass load of damage. And then you won the game. Apparently there's just a lot of ways to bust this game wide the fuck open. You can make yourself really strong in this game. But that being said, with the enemies leveling up with you, you can make enemies really strong as well. You've never heard ass load, Tremor? <laughs> That's one of my favorites. Oh yeah, that was a good crit. Ass load, fuck load, shit load, that all equates to the same amount. That scene was a bit extra. <laughs> An ass load is slightly less than a fuck ton, but more than a butt load. <laughs> G Returner, Weapons Monmar. Weapons Monthly March. Is that what that means? Anybody with this? Uh, let's give it to Mom. Because why the fuck not? Name her Mom. She'll appreciate it. <laughs> Get it bad. Was it really uh, necessary for you to jump right there? You could have literally walked around. Mm -mm. Excuse me. <laughs> I 
There's another boss? Yeah. What the fuck? This boss is annoying as hell. Not giving advice on the XATM092. We're fighting a fucking ATM. Fifty AP if you can kill it. But it also has twice as much health as the boss you just fought. Oh, we ain't killing it. side good music incoming <laughs> oh yeah this does have good music how dare you live how dare her fucking chain extend out that far? Yeah. Yeah, what little I can hear of it. Just simply because we don't play with headphones. Um, I'm really actually enjoying 8's soundtrack. I mean, I've heard most of it through, like, Distant Worlds and the, uh... the bar downstairs having all the music, but... I don't know, there's just something different about actually hearing it Indeed. on its source. Also, you do have a timer, by the way. Yeah, no. While you're dicking around in the menu. <laughs> no, I, I know. <laughs> just, just thought I'd point that out. Seven minutes later, stream died in the menu. <laughs> Summon Quetzalcoatl. I'm gonna have uh, that one with that ability. Oh god! Is that really necessary? Double. Split your lungs with blood and thunder. This reminds me of the giant mechanical spider Yu-Gi-Oh card. Which I think it's called mechanical spider. It is. Cool for its time. Horrible now. <laughs> Trimmer, you have essentially just summed up our entire friendship. Oh. <laughs> you know you have a timer, right? Yeah. <laughs> I 
How far into the playthrough do we let them get before teaching critical status squall strats? Oh, I already knew that. Instant limits. I'm glad they all ran back in place. So, Dingle Douche just needs to be in critical status and he gets his limit? Yeah, any of them. Basically when your health is yellow. Mm -hmm. Like a built-in catnip, always. Yep. But you always run that chance of... Right. You get hit, you're gonna die. not supposed to be na it's not supposed to be killed for a first timer so this is where it tells you to run I don't think we do enough damage to, to, to kill it right now anyways because he's about to restore all of his health creepy. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, he just fucking didn't care. <laughs> Can you run or do you have to knock it down again? Yeah, knock it down again. Damn. I'm not sleeping tonight. Good, I hate sleep anyways. Who needs it? I love how his fists are doing more damage than a weapon. He's got strong ass fists, Joe. Oh my god, you just got to eat. One punch! I love that show. <laughs> Night Breach. Talk to you in about 30 minutes. Hey, at least you landed on your feet. We're cats. Punch the fuck out of him! The cat came back? What cat? <laughs> Beat his ass! No wait, run! <laughs> King says no. I'm confused. What did I do? When did I say I'm all cats? I think I said uh, we're cats. When we landed on our feet. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. 
It's late, I confused myself. Jesus, get caught in a battle for like four minutes every time he touches you. I see what you mean by annoying now. Yeah. So just don't get caught again. Because that's easy. It'd be funny if he's actually still moving, like, while well, you've got all this paused. That would suck. <laughs> he hears Seven downstairs, like, do you remember me? <laughs> I will never be a memory. I think he's totally catching up with you when you're going in the menus. I think he's a bag of dicks. Whoa. Use Omni Slash. I'm trying. All I'm getting is gun blade. Use Omni Gun. That'd be cool. Dude, Wild Guns hit Steam today. Like, Wild Guns Reloaded. Oh. Yeah, totally fucking hit Steam today. It's twenty five percent off for like the first week that it's available too. How much is it? I don't know. Twenty five percent off of its base price. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all I can give you right now. So while we're slowly waiting until you get to the ship, what RPGs do you guys like except Final Fantasy? Um... Well, let's see. I guess it really all kind of constitutes what you deem an RPG. Um, but for me, um... I like, of course, obviously Final Fantasy. I like the Golden Sun series, all three games. Um, I like some Star Ocean games, but not all of them. Um, I love Chrono Trigger, Earthbound. Um, let's see. Drawing a straight blank right now. What are some of yours? Shining Force 1 and 2, Breath of Fire 1, 2, 3, 4, Golden Sun 1, 2, and 3, Mario RPG, Chrono yeah. Trigger. Mario RPG. Depending on how you want to look at it, Parasite Eve 1. Um, I love the Tales of any Tales game, actually. Um, I love the Star Ocean games. Um, I like Persona 4. Persona 4 and 5. They just lost their shit over Shining Force 1 and 2. I love Shining Force 1 and 2. Nobody says that and they're my favorite. I love them. It's my childhood. <laughs> you have made Jamie very, very happy. Uh, the Swedekin games. I love them. Most of my gaming knowledge and library comes from RPGs. Oh god, why? Yeah. Persona 4 is fucking amazing. And the golden was just that much better.
so Jamie. If Ricky promises to do some Shining Force streams, does that earn a follow? Dude, I play that game anyways. <laughs> That being said, I am not a big fan of Shining Force Resurrection for the GBA. I felt like they added some unnecessary shit for it. I don't even think I called it right. I think it's like the Dark Dragon some shit. I don't enjoy it. It looks a lot better. Oh man, I gotta lean forward and use the dulcet tones again. <clears throat> I said, Jamie, if Ricky promises to do a Shining Force stream, did that earn a follow? Ricky does a Shining Force stream, he's gonna get more than a follow. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. I really don't. Oh my. Either way, I'd still play it. So, how long do you think it would take you to stream? Shining Force? Course? The second one, obviously, longer. But we can easily implement that some of the Retro Fridays. Okay. Yeah. Fine by me. <laughs> Who? Take it as a threat, take it as a promise, but no, it is a fact. Who is your favorite character in 1 and in 2? Mine is hands down the rat in 2. I love the fact, like, it blew my mind when he, spoilers, gets promoted to a ninja. Like, <gasps> well, you already know, you've seen me play. <laughs> Actually, you've never seen me play through 2. No, just 1. In one, it's Domingo. In two, it's all of them. <laughs> my my only problem with two... Actually, I kind of told a lie. I love the ninja as the hero, but Odd Eye is my favorite villain in the game. Odd Eye. Two, it's got to be May. Okay, that's fair. But I just kind of want to be her. Odd eye rules. Yes. Um, this SMP rules. This actually is a really cool cutscene. <laughs> Get fucked! Quist is on a fucking planted machine gun just laying into this motherfucker. I'm kind of lame for the first one, for Shining Force 1, because of the main character I really like. Quest is going. Damn! Alright, so fuck it. The next few Retro Fridays. Shining Force. You cool with that? Oh, hell yeah. And we're literally going to be streaming two RPGs side by side, but you know. I, like I said, it's part of my childhood, and it, it got me into tactic RPGs. Have you played three? 
Have I played three? Uh, no, it's one on the to-do list. Unfortunately, I've not played three. I have played Shining Forge for the Game Gear. Is that the CD one? Yeah, Shining Forge 3, yeah. I started it, never finished it. Dude, yes? That's another fucking fantastic game. Fire Emblem is, like, one of the best. Like, for real, guys, the only real thing we have on our plate is just beating all the Final Fantasy games just because. That's that's something we wanted to do for a long time. After that, I mean, the sky's the fucking limit. You guys call the games, we'll play them. Within reason, Tremor. Um... No way, that's alright, damn. My wallet. <laughs> um. But yeah, we'll we'll play damn near anything if you guys want to see it. Which, truthfully, at the end of the day, we're here for you guys. <laughs> because Tremor, you're the trolliest one in the chat right now. That's why I called you out. Nothing but love for you, Tremor, but I knew you were gonna call out something obscure. <whistles> Stocked nine thunders. Man, that's exciting. Shiny Force. Devil Trigger games. I could not get into them. I tried so hard. Those are SMT, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the dawning on his face. Man, wait, I could stream Shining Force and Match Attack on this. Oh, oh. <laughs> that just made your damn night. Like, me and you are going to be like coming up with a team for Shining Force 1. Alright, signed and sealed in blood. Our Friday streams for the next little bit will be the Shining Force games. I don't know if the code in the first one is the same in the second one to name all characters. The Golden Sun Code. The Golden Sun Code, you can name all characters in two. But I don't know if it's the same for the first one. Actually, that code's really cheap as fuck, too, if you want to use it for its full potential. Mm hmm Did you get confused there for a second? Well, I was going to stop and level grind for a minute, but I was like, nah, I'll just progress a little bit more. I mean, consider that it's 1.30. Might as well get 30 minutes worth of progression. Yeah. Since we spent so much time getting our ass kicked at Triple Triad. get to bust out the Retron again for Shining Force. What's the best way to play those? Honestly, Sega Collection. They're on the Sega Collection? Yeah, both of them. Oh, cool. Yo, so yeah, that'll be super easy then, so we won't have to bust out the Retron after all. We can just use the uh, Sonic today, the, the Sonic Genesis Collection. Mm -hmm. Actually, I own them on Steam. You do? Yeah. I 
We'll figure something out. We've got five days. We have, like, literally four or five options to play them. Long as I wait, at, long as I have a way to hook it up with an HDMI out, I don't care. Now for somebody for love of breath of fire. <laughs> oh yeah, that's something you didn't uh, you didn't bring up in the uh, the RPG. Love. I I love GBA one, GBA two. I love three is my favorite. <laughs> Breath of Fire. God damn, are you me? <laughs> I don't know. How old are you? If you say twenty seven, and if you say your birthday's on the same as mine, then we might be the same person. <laughs> Do you have a twin floating out there in space? But okay, okay, that's creepy. Okay, <laughs> shit's getting creepy now. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm 27. What month is your birthday? <laughs> this is getting too deep. I'm a woman, so I think we're safe. <laughs> so that would be cool if our birthday was on the same month. That would be creepy is what it is. Sacred twins. My god, you guys are like the Luke and Leia of the real world. <laughs> I went to the wrong place. <laughs> That's going to be a really long list if you want to type that out. <laughs> I'm just adding some rudimentary things. Just some, just some real basic stuff so I don't forget. Because I know you'll want to do that one. Oh, hell yeah. Breath of Fire 3 is best out of the I was gonna say trilogy, but it's not a trilogy. <laughs> There's like six of those games. We do not fucking count Dragon Quarter. Dragon Quarter or the fucking shitty ass mobile game. The hell happened to the mouse? Oh yeah, since you didn't bring it up, my birthday's in February. Apparently. Okay, not twins. Birthdays in April. Ah. <laughs> unplug the uh, the mouse and plug it back in. Which one's the mouse? Um. Uh, this one. Sure. There we go. I have a mouse again. So close and yet so far away. Okay, chat. Um, what games do you guys want to see? <laughs> Could be a cover-up.
Shining currently what has been added to the list is uh, Shining Force 1 and 2 and Breath of Fire 3. Wait, wait, wait. Who's your favorite character in Breath of Fire 3? I gotta know this. I gotta know this. Because I will I'll use my non-cheat the main character oh go away. Because I really love that Reeve in that game. Harry Mega Man Legacy. Mega Man Legacy. I'm I'm down for that. Yes. Yes. You have fantastic taste. And you want me to tell you why Ray is my favorite character aside from the main character with me? Is his line at the end of the game. Uh, the fact that you I'm sorry if I spoil it but cover your ears now you have approximately 10 seconds you are facing God and Ray says the fact that you killed my brother basically means I will kill you because you have to kill Tifo end of spoilers I also like Pico just because of the Ixadrill. I just, I, I just, I don't like the fact that he's a huge ass onion. <laughs> Cause I hate onions. <laughs> also at the end of the game, apparently Pico just is like, yeah, I know everything and I'm also very powerful. I am everything. <laughs> Literally plugged my ears and hummed the whole time Ricky talked there. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> to be fair, most people do that to me, though. <laughs> la, 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 la. God. Okay. What justifications are in the Mega Man Legacy? What games? Are you wanting the whole Legacy, like Mega Man Classic 1 through 6, and then, you know, the X games? Oh, we can stop being going in. Wait. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could go as far as doing Mega Man 1 through 10, really. Well, I was more or less talking, like, do you want, like, all classic, all X, all zero, and then, like, finish off with Legends 1 and 2? That's a lot of fucking games. That's a lot of Fridays. Yep, Soten. Yes. Symphony of the Night is also very good. Yep, guys. Actually, yep. Can, I, can I just throw out Circle of the Moon, Ari of Sorrow, Dawn of Sorrow... You will do all the Egovanias. Tremor definitely wants Legends at some point. Sweet. Toffin, you have not made a call out, buddy. You are... I'm literally typing up the list as it's called out. Legend of Dragoon. Legend of Dragoon. Holy motherfucking god, how could I forget that amazing game? No, fuck Eye of the Beholder. That game is shit. That game is absolute shit. I hated it. It was so bad. <laughs> fuck that horse shit. Um, so far in the queue, we've got a lot of fucking games. <laughs> now, this is no way, shape, or form an order, other than the fact that Shining Force is... Going first. Make a man one through one hundred. Psychonauts. I've never played it. All right. Mm -hmm. 
I was really hoping somebody would be like, Play Metal Gear noobs! <laughs> and y'all let me down. Okay, maybe it's just that I want to play Metal Gear Solid. Okay. Seifert, don't be stuck on yourself. Like, secretly on his jacket, there's a picture of Seifert on Seifert. You can't talk to your teacher like that. Space Cadet 3D Pinball for Windows. This is the one I'm thinking of. I think I actually enjoyed that game. Yeah, it's the one that everyone played when the internet was down. See for you gonna be in trouble, buddy. <laughs> look at him laughing. He's lost his goddamn mind. Those guys look like the ones in ten. Oh, the monks. The priests. All the uh, the people that follow uh, Master Seymour or er, um, Master Micah. Seymour just kind of rolls off the tongue when I say Maester. I was going to make it October month for Resi. Okay, but yeah, for those asking about what's on the, uh, the docket coming up is, uh... The, the Resident Evil series, Psychonauts, Shining Force 1 and 2, Breath of Fire 3, Symphony of the Night, uh, the Mega Man Legacy. Can't remember if I said Psychonauts or not, but Psychonauts. Just please nobody tell me to play Resident Evil Gaiden. I've done it once, don't make me do it again. RAGE! You wanna play Rage? No, that's what, that's what she said. Oh. RAGE! Shining Force Mega Man 2 through 50. Resident Evil series. What's your thoughts on... Well, remember, I also said uh, Psychonauts, Symphony of the Night, and Breath of Fire 3. Oh yeah, Le Legend of Dragoon. Yes, yes, yes. I'm surprised nobody said uh, Persona 4. That's a long stream. That's a real long stream. Could you imagine that, like, obviously that'd be, like, later on the retros, but that's kind of weird calling it retro. Yeah, calling PS2 retro. <laughs> Nobody said Persona 4 because it was assumed. I like your answer. Now, who's your favorite character in Persona 4? <laughs> is this what we're doing? Is this what, uh, <laughs> is this what our streams turned into? Well, so far we're on par. So far, we're on par with favorite characters. Trimmer says Chie. Okay, I can't disagree with you on that. Forget Resident Evil Guide and do RE Deadly Silence. Kanji boy, there we go. Finally, someone that agrees with me. 
Kanji Nato is canon. I don't care what the fuck you have to say about it. I hate your run animation. You remember, fucking come back here. I will show you how to properly run. <laughs> Strong opinions happening on the stream. <laughs> uh, aside from Narakami, Teddy is my favorite. Dat Ted. <laughs> I know what she's about to say. She ain't even finished saying it. I know what she's about to say. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yosuke is best girl. I knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> this is when we split. <laughs> I like Teddy's lines. Teddy is a perfect uh, comedic relief character. <laughs> Teddy is a son of a bitch. <laughs> no, it does not upset me. Like I said, when Teddy says his funny lines, they're funny. But at the same time, Teddy also is annoying sometimes. That being said, the cat in five is fucking annoying. Like... I'm gonna be real, like, watching you play five... Just... Did not look good. Five had its parts. Like, it's just... I think everyone liked it because it was new Persona and there was just such a hype train about it. But the more I watched you play, the less I liked it. Like, to the point that I wouldn't even watch you anymore. <laughs> like I said. And that's bad if I got bored. It had its parts. How far did you get? Halfway through, and I stopped. Mm. Uh, yeah, P4 is really good. <laughs> I have spent so much time talking to chat about favorite games and RPGs and what we need to play. I have literally missed, I think, the last 45 minutes. Of what the fuck is going on. Honestly, I have no idea. Just telling you who passed. What your perks and your, you know. What's the other one I'm looking for? Weaknesses are. Yeah, Toffin. The Persona games are not connected. There are side games that connect 3 and 4. But for the most part, the rest of the games are completely unconnected of each other. So yeah, totally jump in at 4, never look back. I like some of the characters in 3. It just 4 just felt way better. 1 and 2 are just way too fucking dated to try and go back and play now. If you didn't have the nostalgia for them, then you're not going to be able to go back and do it. This scene is really this early in the game? Yeah. Like, I thought this was like... Like way deeper in. No. This is this this is it. This is some really good CGI for 98. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we were kind of talking about that at the beginning of the stream.
<laughs> and what's sad is like, you know, we all literally just based before like Squall could look like Leon mm -hmm. and RE2. Those cutscenes look like shit. Mm -hmm. Compared to this one that looked really good. Accurate representation of me and Alex trying to dance. Of how immediately he's like, no, I got this. He's a quick learner. <laughs> Hang on, I'll be right back. She's never coming back. She gone, boy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> She's never coming back. Tragic music starts. Of course, Quistus' thirsty ass has to come out here and be like, Hey, the fuck was that all about? Who's that whore? <laughs> I've come to give you an order. We gotta go to the secret area. I need an adult. It's where students secretly meet up and talk after curfew. You know, it all sounds bad. You know, curfew, you're breaking it. Students meet up, you're breaking that. But in the training center, really? <laughs> they talk. Uh. <laughs> Get changed to meet at the training center? What does this mean? She's his goddamn teacher. If I'm not mistaken, you can run into a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty damn sure that's an enemy you can run into. Where the hell did that come from? That's an enemy here. <laughs> This fucking Parasite Eve. This random T-Rex. You are not mistaken. <laughs> I knew there was a T-Rex. <laughs> there is a T-Rex. What the fuck? Why is there a T-Rex in Seed Headquarters? Who cut loose Dino Crisis? That's a game I wish would get remade. It's a Capcom game, though. Choose your words carefully. Oh, yeah, I know. 
Dino Crisis getting remade could go really, really bad. Yeah, I know. We can't. It's what we do. Yeah, oh, that's right. We fought T Rex are. Stasis J. <laughs> Here's more junction explanation. Well, meet me in the dark later. We're gonna learn how to <clears throat> junction. Junction function. Conjunction junction. What's your function? Ow. Select the magic to complete the junction. However. Magic with no status change, like fire, cannot be junctioned. It was moderately painful. One hundred percent is the maximum value. You don't say! Just fuck already! I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What would you say? Just fuck! <laughs> so, Squall, let me tell you a bunch of boring crap. <laughs> it's from uh, Yu Gi Oh! Abridged. Put the T-Rex to sleep in the secret area. Krista took you to, seek to the secret area so she could show you her lizard. Lizard, lizard, lizard. <laughs> Squalls is like, no thanks. I don't like girls. Or boys. Squalls is like, I hate boy. everything. Unless you're a gunblade, Squall doesn't like you. I like melancholy. <laughs> Squall loves melancholy and jackets. I'm okay with that. And belts. No, Lulu loves belts. Tricks time. That's a big old fucking T-Rex. <laughs> Fuck this. I'm going to space. T-Rex. Get smacked. Try and beat this. <laughs> this 
this game has run away from everything the game. But you got to see you on it. Renzo Kuken! to do the off-screen drawground. Mm -hmm. Apparently the strategy is to equip the junction for the sleep attack. To put it to sleep. On the squall, it gives you like a 90% chance to sleep it, like every hit. And then uh, have Quistus uh, attack with ice. Because he's weak to ice. But where we didn't spend time to. Oh, wow. Got the back attack. Got that. I don't want to fuck with this attack. <laughs> Got the free run. Is that just like a mutated Ochu or what? It's... Yeah. Not like a fully grown Ochu. Yeah, not had any troubles with chat here, Tremor. I'm not sure about anyone else. Question is, what level do you want to be when we beat the game? Uh, that level. Because difficulty is dependent on level. I have no idea. I'd probably aim for around 55, 60. Of course, max level. I mean, I, every time I play this game, I do max level. Look at the pretty lights. That awkward moment when you log in late and realize it, it takes you a little bit to realize they're on 8 instead of 7. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those lights. Oh, oh. Yeah, Justin, we beat, uh, we beat 7 yesterday. Is that all you're gonna say? Not interested. E. I'm not your teacher anymore. Hey, 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 hey. Worst first date ever. Well, so she, like, legitimately is just 18. Yeah. <laughs> Are you done yet? God, Squall does, like, seriously not care. This is where the Japan is lame part comes in. 
She should be like 30. Yeah. Yeah, she's a fucking instructor of like... A very prestigious... School in all the world. Nope. 18. Fuck it. <laughs> Squall just says, fuck this. I'm out. Had to creep the fuck out of here. You mean encounter the dinosaur at least like two more times and then run away like a scared little girl? Pretty much. <laughs> I'm gonna go fight a fucking T Rex. Walk up and punch it right in the shin. That's terrifying. Yeah. That's a legit terrifying fucking animation. Fucking tentacles. See enough hint to know where this is going. The internet? It's going the internet? <laughs> Quisty? Oh, hey, there's a boss. We go way back. <laughs> Sorry, I stole your joke. Ronaldo. You need to attack it with armor piercing weapons. Yeah, I'll keep running. Jeez. Really around that. God, Ricky. Well, that just picks up and he just drops it, <laughs> kicks it. as a martial weapon. You ever been hit by a whip? I don't know. If you put something like... sharp on the end of it. It's a standard whip. One of the few items that's ever made me almost ball. I mean... People made effective use out of boomerangs, and I would pretty much consider that a useless ass weapon. Dude, that's useless. This is, it's got a one time use. Bong! Catch it. It stings, but you can't actually do deep cutting damage with a whip by itself. Jamie, you seem confused. What's going on, bud? <laughs> 
thought you were in another chat for a second. Got five sleeps. Got the sleepies. Uh, I do have the sleepies. Send me one of those sleeps, please. You got it. Yeah, I'm tired. God, how awesome would that be, though? Like, just to have, like, sleep as a magic. It's just like, man, I really need to fucking go to bed. Oh, yeah. As long as you didn't have to be, like, woke up from it. Yeah. Like, so, like physically be smacked or something. <laughs> yeah. It just conveniently wears off after like six to eight hours. Yeah, if you were aiming for bodily harm, the end of your whip is gonna have something sharp on it. Unless you're Belmont and you just win because you're Belmont. Oh no, they upgrade to chain whips. Not Richter. Motherfucker starts out with chain whips. I don't understand why the other one started out with leather whips. Man, if you were to just jump into the chat just like right then and just hear us talking about whips, that would have been like the most awkward time to come in. I think we're having, doing a Twitch live SM stream. Um, we have not seen the Castlevania anime yet, but I really, really want to. I've heard mixed reviews on it. I am really fucking excited to see it. As soon as Alex comes over and lets me borrow her Netflix account, I am going to watch it. Cause I'm a mooch! I can have a pretty good amount of villains who did pretty well on their own. Mixed reviews are being too reserved. Regardless, I'm looking forward to it. Brother lets me use his Netflix and sister lets me use her Hulu. I'm a mooch across all streaming. Nice. Because there's only, like, what, four episodes? Something like that. There's not many. Oh. Whew. Is that a good stopping point for tonight? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Four episodes, like, a hundred minutes. Oh yeah, that's totally easy to just knock out in one sitting. And it's already renewed for season two. Awesome. That is actually really good. Alright, that automatically gives me a lot of hope. But yeah, it it's time for us to head to bed. Work comes early. Yep, gym at 8 o'clock and then straight to work. Bleh, fuck that. And that's been fun, guys. Thanks for coming and chilling with us. Peace. See you tomorrow.